Rock Island, Illinois, on his 13-state swing through the West, pledged a foreign policy based on the belief that we can have peace, has 25 major stops on his busy September schedule. And by more cheering thousands. That night... Tonight, we enter upon a campaign to unite all America. On January 20, we will enter on a new era. Let's see. Meanwhile, candidate Harry S. Truman draws other cheering bouts as he appears in Denver on his cross-country tour, a Republican undercover plan to sabotage the West. In this key city, Mr. Truman makes force 20,000 before the state capitol, hear him charge beaches in one day. Then he dashes to San Francisco. Here in two more major addresses, he blasts away at the 80th Congress. Truman and Dewey battle it out for the votes of the nation. Barkley. A 16-day coast-to-coast tour lies ahead as the Truman Special pulls out of Washington. The president sets himself a stiff pace with 13 speeches on his first day, climaxed at Dexter, Iowa. I'm not asking you just to vote for me. Vote for yourself. Vote for your farm. Vote for the standard of living that you've won under a democratic administration. Get out there on election day and vote for your future. Candidate Dewey, hot on the heels of candidate Truman, starts from Albany on his own nationwide vote hunting tour. With control of the Senate of vital question, both candidates will visit the states with the closest Senate races. And with both candidates on the road, voters across the country will hear both sides of the key issues at first hand. President Truman swings through Camden, New Jersey and Philadelphia on the third of what he calls his Crusades for De Philadelphia's huge convention hall. 12,000 hear him summarize the election issues as high prices, the Taft-Hartley Act, and what he terms the unholy alliance between the Republicans and big business. 